Buenos dias. Hola. Como están? God bless you. God bless you. Those who are tuning in at 5.30 in the morning. Those who are going to be tuning in on the replay. God bless you. Those. Good morning, Helen Martinez. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Good morning, Smokey. Good morning, Tyson Sr. Good morning, everybody. Look at you guys bright and early, 5.30 in the morning, ready to receive God, ready to receive the Word of God, ready to receive the presence. Good morning, Violet. Glad to have you. You've been doing so happy for you, so happy that God is uh, doing something amazing in your life. Good morning, Kathy, my tia, Kathy Enojos. God bless you. Praying for you and the family. I was talking to uh, Danny Castro yesterday. Good morning, Elizabeth Tyson. God bless you. I was talking to Danny Castro yesterday and uh, went over to his house. I had to uh, give him some stuff. And uh, he was just talking about the uh, about the blog. And he was, he was saying, you know, Armando, thank you so much. Thank you so much for doing that because the morning blog... It refreshes my soul. It refreshes my spirit. He said, it's so refreshing to get up in the morning, to get into the word. It's so refreshing to, to hear the word of God. It's so refreshing uh, with the words that uh, that are spoken here, the words, the, the revelations and just different things. And uh, and it, it just blessed my heart, Bless my heart because if, if it was making an impact for one person, you know, that to me, that's, that's so it blesses my heart so much because if it's blessing one person, <clears throat> if it's blessing one person, then to me, that's that's what it's all about, is to bless people, to bless them, uh, to, re to receive the word, to receive that uh, correction. Good morning, Bethel. Good morning, Julie. God bless you. To receive the word of God, to receive uh, in the morning. Uh, one of the Psalms, it says that uh, I love to praise the Lord in the morning. That's what it says. It's like, Waking up in the morning, waking up uh, and, and sharing the word of God and waking up and, and uh, the coolness of the day, you know, before, before the sun rises, before the actual sun, the S-U-N rises, we are up seeking the Lord. We're up just uh, hearing, you know, just being in tune. And uh, today, is, <laughs> today is powerful. Today is like, wow, Lord, thank you, Jesus, for, for sharing this with us. Uh, we are out of the one year Bible. We are journeying through the one-year Bible at 5.30 in the morning. You're like, why 5.30 in the morning? That's too early. <laughs> well, I know all of us, we have work. We have uh, things to do. And I have work. I have uh, things that, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a husband. I'm a father. I, uh, I work a full-time job. And then uh, just sharing the word, right? Sharing the word, Danny. That's all we're doing, sharing the word. And uh, today, it's uh, November 16th. It's already who's ready for, for Thanksgiving. I'm, I'm thankful every day. I'm thankful that the Lord woke me up this morning. I'm thankful that I get to praise the Lord with you guys. I'm thankful that we are here together. I'm thankful that uh, people are on. I'm thankful that, that people are, are being blessed by this. I'm thankful that God is good. I'm thankful that God is faithful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Who's thankful in the house of the Lord? Amen. Uh, so November 16th, we're going to be seeing what the Lord is going to be speaking to us today. It's powerful. Amazing. So we are in Ezekiel chapter 33 and then 34. And then we're going to be reading uh, Hebrews chapter 13, 1 through 25, Psalms 115, 1 through 18, and then Proverbs 27, 21 through 22. And Ezekiel chapter 33, it begins with what? What does it begin with? What, we, what have we been talking about this past couple of days? I believe that God is, 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 uh, is confirming his word. I believe that God is trying to get our attention. He said, look at, pay attention to this. Really pay attention to this. If I'm repeating myself uh, again, if I'm repeating myself, if the Lord is saying, I'm, if, I, if the Lord is repeating himself in this, then we got to really pay attention. Because what does it say in, in Ezekiel chapter 33? What have we been going over? And this is amazing because check this out. Ezekiel chapter 33 it says, once again, a message came to me from the Lord, son of man, give your people this message. 
When I bring an army against a country, the people of the land choose one of their own to be a watchman. When the watchman sees the enemy coming, he sounds the alarm to warn the people. Then if those who hear the alarm refuse to take action, it is their own fault if they die. They heard the alarm but ignored it. So the responsibility is theirs. If they have listened to the warning, they could have saved their, their, their lives. But if the watchman sees the enemy coming and doesn't sound the alarm to warn the people, he is responsible for their captivity. They will die in their sins, but I will hold the watchman responsible for their death. Now, son of man, I'm making you a watchman for the people of Israel. Therefore, listen to what I say and warn them. If I announce that some wicked people are sure to die and you are you fail to tell them to change their ways, then I will then they will die in their sins and I will hold you responsible for their death. But if you warn them to repent and they don't repent, they will die in their sins, but you will have saved yourself. The watchmen watching, watch and pray. Be vigilant. It's like God, God is speaking to our hearts. God is saying, Are you being watchful? Are you being prayerful? And I, I was just, I, I just thought I was undone with this. I was like, wow. It's just like, I'm a man with unclean lips. I love live among the people with unclean lips. And I was, I was just, I was just, uh, I was amazed and I was just thankful. I said, you see, God, that this is just confirming the word that you had me share on Sunday. Being watchful and being prayerful. God is calling us to be that watchman over our words, over our attitudes, over temptation, over the temptation that comes our way, over our character, over our household. And so God is calling every single one of us to be watchful, to be prayerful, especially in this dark time that we're living in, guys. Be watchful. If God is if God is repeating, God is confirming his word over and over, then we really got to pay attention to what God is saying. What is God saying to us today? A lot of people say, God doesn't speak to me today. God doesn't speak. How does God speak to you? Well, look at where I'm, I'm showing you in plain sight. This is how God is speaking. This is how God is, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, telling his people, hey, pay attention to this. If God is repeating it over and over again, we read it. Uh, we, we shared the message on Sunday. Yesterday, we was talking about watch out for those poisonous roots. And then today, the Lord is saying, you're a watchman over the city. You're a watchman over the people. And my job is to give out that warning. My job is to say, here, hey, this is what's happening. This is the, this is the confirmation that God has given us. This is what's, what's going on. This is how the world is getting darker and darker. This is what's, what's happening. Be watchful and prayerful. Don't hold back. Don't hold back, but be, be uh, vigilant and be attentive to what God is, is sharing in his word. God is sharing this in his word. And then are we? it's up to us to either li listen, to be listeners of the word. And then so I just wanted to share that really golden nugget right there that be watchful and prayerful. Right, Danny? God speaks to us in different ways. We need to pay attention to God. And then <laughs> yesterday, my wife too was, was saying, because uh, she likes to hear... Uh, one of the ladies, she uh, she she uh, she reads the one year Bible online, and uh, so she likes to listen to either Tom Dooley or to her, and then she's like, "You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe what uh, what the lady was saying." Like after like she read the scriptures, she shared maybe a little small devotional, of, and it talked about attitude, having the right attitude, and then she was just amazed. She's like, "You talked about that on Sunday." She's like, "I thought of you when you were." When, uh, when she started sharing that, and I was like, God is confirming. God is confirming his word. God is speaking to us. It's like, we, got, we just got to take it as uh, we watchful and prayerful. And then yesterday, I heard an interview by a pastor. He said, the saints, he's like, their job is to be watchful and to pray. I was like, what? And this is a pastor that, you know, uh, it, it was just an interview that he did uh, with somebody uh it was, I think it was yesterday because it said that it was uploaded about eight hours ago. And so he was doing an interview with, uh, with somebody and he was, he was sharing that, that our own, our, our, our job is to be watchful and to be prayerful. I'm like, oh Lord, you're speaking to us. You're speaking to me, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And just being attentive. That, to me, that excites me. 
When the Holy Spirit speaks to us that way, when the Holy Spirit is ministering to us that way, it's like, wow, that is amazing. That's how you know when God is speaking. It's like he's constantly confirming his word. And then uh, yesterday, actually Sunday, I just want to share this with you too because I believe this is powerful. Sunday, uh, I was asked to speak on Saturday. Uh, Pastor Julian called me. He said, hey, can you, can you share for me on, on Sunday, the next day? I said, yeah, let's, let's do that. And then this is what God told me. He said, I'm going to confirm my word to you, Mondo. I'm going to confirm um, this is this is how I'm going to confirm my word. After you share this message, somebody's going to come up to you and say there uh, that there was a pastor that preached that the same that there was a pastor that that shared that word either a couple of days before or that day of. And then so this is what the Lord told me. He said somebody's going to come up to come up to you and tell you I heard a pastor share this share that word that you shared. And then so we finished the service. Francis, he had left and the Lord prompted him, prompted him to come back and to tell me, Mondo, the Lord wanted me to tell you this. The Lord wanted me to tell you that what you shared, that a pastor preached that word today in the morning. Two pastors preached that word. And then to me, that was confirmation because God had already told me that somebody's going to come up to me and tell me that the word that, that was spoken today or that, that Sunday was, uh, was a word and confirming it to my heart. Because as, uh, as ministers of the word, as, as ministers, you're like, okay, Lord, is this, am I hearing from you? Am I, am I uh, hearing what, what you want to share to your people? And look at, bam, God is confirming his word. God has to confirm the word to the ministers. Because it needs to be a word that is on time, words that will penetrate the heart, words that will speak to our hearts, words that will change us and transform us. Right, Bethel? Getting a word from the God, being getting a word from God is like hearing what God is saying and, and, and sharing it to other people, but also hearing it from myself too, and hearing what God is sharing. And so I just want to share that about being the watchman. It's like, there you go again, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're watchmen. We are watching in this season. We're watching and we're praying. And uh, I want to share, I want to share this uh this verse with you. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 11. Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 11. It says, For this is what the sovereign Lord says. This is what God is saying. I myself will search and find my sheep. I will be like a shepherd looking for his scattered sheep. I will find my sheep and rescue them from all the place where they were scattered on the dirt, on the dark and cloudy day. The way we've been talking about, the time is getting dark, guys. The time is dark. I will. I will find my sheep and rescue them from all the place where they were scattered on the dark and cloudy day. I will bring them back home to their own land of Israel from among the people and nations. I will feed them on the mountains of Israel and by the rivers and all the places where people live. Yes, I have given them good pastures on the high hills of Israel. They will lie down in pleasant places and feed in luscious pastures of the hills. I myself will tend to my sheep and give them a place to lie down in peace, says the Lord Almighty. I will search for my lost ones who strayed away, and I will bring them back, bring them safely back home. I will bandage, bandage the injured and strengthen the weak. I will destroy those who are fat and powerful. I will feed them with I will feed them with justice. Wow. What does it say? What does it say in John 10:10 10, 10, that the enemy came to, enemy comes to kill, steal and destroy, but John 10 verse 11. Let's read that real quick. So right here God is saying that he is the good shepherd, that he is the shepherd that would tend to the flock, that he is the shepherd that will rescue them. He is the shepherd that will will uh will tend to them. He's a shepherd that will bandage them up. He is a shepherd. He is a, he is a good shepherd. The Lord, the, that's what the Bible says, that God is the good shepherd. And then John 10. 
Uh, let's read that. John 10, verse 11. And Jesus speaking, this is Jesus speaking, especially it's in red, red letters. It says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd sacrifices his life for the sheep. A hired hand will run when he sees a wolf coming. He will abandon the sheep because they don't belong to him. And he, and he isn't their shepherd. And so the wolf attacks them and scatters the flock. The hired hand runs away because he's only working for the money and doesn't really care about the sheep. Verse 14. I am the good shepherd. I know my own sheep and they know me. Just as my father knows me, I know the father. So I sacrifice my life for the sheep and I have other sheep too that they are not in the sheepfold. But talking about the Jews and Gentiles. I must bring them also. They will listen to my voice and they will be one flock and one shepherd. The father loves me because I sacrificed my life so I may take it back again. And no one can take my life from me. I sacrifice, I sacrifice it voluntarily. I have the authority to lay it down. And when I want to, I will also take it back up. Come on, somebody. And this is what my father has commanded. That's amazing. So Ezekiel is talking about the good shepherd. Ezekiel is going into detail how he, he tends to the flock. He, it goes into detail how he leads us to good pastures. It goes into details that he will feed the sheep. He goes, it goes into details that I will bandage the injured and strengthen the weak. Come on. Thank you, Lord, for being that good shepherd in our lives. Thank you, Lord, because the Bible says that the sheep will hear his voice. What are we doing this morning? We are tuning in our ears to hear the voice of God. We are tuning in our ears to hear the good shepherd. God, you are the good shepherd, Lord. You lead us. You guide us. You direct us. Where do you want us to go, Father? Where does you want us to lead us and to guide us and to direct our lives, to direct our steps? God, you are the good shepherd that you put even the sheep that are broken, sheep that are hurting upon your shoulders, and that we may find rest in you. We may find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. We might find rest. And we know that sometimes we have gone scattered. I, I love this portion right here. It says, they have gone scattered on dark and cloudy days. Maybe you're facing that dark and cloudy day. Maybe you're facing that, that day where you were, you, you've been scattered. You've been wayward. You, like, you, you lost your place. You lost, your, you lost uh, uh, your location. You lost your GPS signal. <laughs> You lost your GPS signal and you don't know where you're at because it was dark and cloudy. But guess what? That good shepherd will come after you. That good shepherd will tend what, like, what's happening to you. What's going on? What's going on in your life? What is happening to you? So good that God is a good shepherd right here. God, God had said, I myself will search and find my sheep. I am the good shepherd. And what did Jesus say? I am the good shepherd. I am. You know, this time there are a lot of, there are a lot of sheep that are injured, guys. There are a lot of sheep that are injured. There are a lot of sheep that are experiencing anxiety. There are a lot of sheep that are experiencing depression. There's a lot of sheep that have gone, uh, that have gone scattered. There's a lot of sheep that have been wounded. There's a lot of sheep that are, when going through this pandemic, they're going through a lot of stuff. There's a lot of sheep that are, have going on. Things are happening to them. A lot of sheep that are just. Falling into a ditch. Father, in the name of Jesus, put that good shepherd inside of us. Put that good shepherd inside. That, that good shepherd lives inside of us and we go after the sheep. Let me pray for somebody. This person is hurting. This person is broken. Let me call them up. Let me pray for them. Because I believe that the good shepherd is coming after the people. I believe that the good shepherd is tending to his flock. I believe that the good shepherd is ministering the word. I believe that the good shepherd is, is, is sharing the, the word of the Lord. I believe in the name of Jesus. Because that good shepherd now lives inside of us. And we go out and we like, Lord, we, we're going to go pray for this person. We're going to go pray for this in the name of Jesus. We're going to go pray for the wounded sheep. 
and bring him back into the into the fold and bring him back. Hey Amen. God, God is speaking to us. Come on. <laughs> Amazing. We could go on. That's why I continue God to continue guys to read. Continue guys to, to, to get inside of what God is, is, is sharing to us. <laughs> Check this out. And how do we know that God is speaking? Because <laughs> check out check out Hebrews chapter 13, guys. Check out Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20. It says, May now may the God of peace who brought you up from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep. I'm not making this up, guys. I'm not making this up. So we read that in read that we read that in Ezekiel. And now what are we reading right here in Ezekiel in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20? Now may the God of peace who brought you up from the dead, our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, and ratify an eternal covenant with his blood. Why? Because the good shepherd laid down his life for you, for you and I. The good shepherd, he voluntarily laid it down for you and I, that he may bring it back up. And not only does he bring forth his life back up, he is alive, he is living, and now this good shepherd is what? Living inside of us, and now we come back. And now we are risen from the dead. Now we are, are in the power of the resurrection. Why? Because he is the first born of that. He's the, he's the resurrection and the life. And in him, there's resurrection power inside of me. There is power inside of me because of who is inside of me. There's resurrection power. There's, there's a good shepherd, the great shepherd of the sheep. Wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Let's, let's start up a Hebrew shepherd 13. Hebrews chapter 13, I want to read this portion because it's powerful. Hebrews chapter 13, keep on loving each other as brothers and sisters. Don't forget to show hospitality to strangers for some who have done this have entertained angels without realizing it. Remember those in prison as if they were, as if you were there yourself. Remember all those being uh, mistreated as, as if you felt their pain in your own bodies. Wow. If you were, let me ask you this. If you were in the, in the shoes of those who are broken, those who are hurting, those who are going through, uh, uh, who are going through sickness and disease, how would you want to be treated? How would you? Would you want a phone call? Would you want a, a card? Thank you, Sister Carol, for sending cards out. Thank you for those who are reaching out to those who are hurting, to those who are broken. Because if you were in their shoes, if you felt their pain, if you felt what they're feeling, Remember all those who being mistreated if, as if you felt their pain in your own bodies. Remember those in prison as if you yourself were there. <laughs> wow. Give honor to marriage and remain faithful to one another in marriage. God will surely judge people who are immoral and those who commit adultery. Love, don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have, for God says, I will never fail you. I will never abandon you. So we can have confidence. The Lord is my helper. So I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Wow. God is good. <laughs> the Lord is my helper. So what fear do I have? So I will have no fear. What can mere people do? God is my provider. I have confidence. I have confidence that God is my helper. I have confidence that God is the one who sustains me. I have confidence that the, one, that the Lord is the one who, who guides and who is up there to uplift me. 
And check this out. This is powerful. Remember your leaders who taught you the word of God. Think of all the good that has come from their lives and follow the example of their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So do not be a uh, do not be attracted by strange new ideas. Your strength comes from God, God's grace, not from rules about food, which don't help those who follow them. We have an altar from which the priests in the tabernacle have no right to eat under the old system. The high priest brought brought the blood of the animals into the holy place as a sacrifice and the, and the bodies of the animals were burnt outside the camp. So also Jesus suffered and died outside the city gates to make his people holy by the means of his own blood. So let us go with, out to him outside the camp and bear this, and bear the disgrace he bore. For this world is not our permanent home. We are looking forward to a home yet to come. Come on. Amen. And it keeps on going. And then that's when it talks about the good shepherd. And so this is this is amazing. Right on time word, right, Jody? Come on now. That's a great word right there. Amen. I believe it. Hold on to that word, guys. Hold on to that word. And in uh, and Psalms 115, as we begin to land this plane, let's begin to land this plane. Psalms 115. Not to us, O Lord, not to us. But to your name goes all the glory for your unfailing love and faithfulness. Why let the nation say, where is their God? Our God is in heaven and he does what he wishes. Their idols are merely things of silver and gold shaped by human hands. But their mouths cannot speak and eyes, and the eyes, and eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear and noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel and feet but cannot walk, and throats but cannot make a sound. And those who make idols are just like them, as all we who trust in the Lord. O Israel, trust the Lord. He is your helper and your shield. O descendants of Aaron, trust the Lord. He is your helper and your shield. All who fear the Lord, trust the Lord. He is the helper and your shield. The Lord remembers us when and will bless us. He will bless the people of Israel and bless the priests, the, the, the descendants of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both great and lowly. May the Lord richly bless both you and your children. May the Lord, may you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens belong to the Lord, but he has given the earth to all humanity. I love right here. There's another portion of, uh, there's another portion of uh, the, um, there's another port, another uh, translation. It was talking about Oh, descendants of, of Aaron, like bringing out like, hey, check this out, uh, Aaron's descendants. Check this out, oh, people of Aaron. That's what it says, oh, people of Aaron. So that's why, like, check this out, the Martinez family. Trust out and trust in the Lord. Check out oh, the Orozco family. Trust in the Lord. He is your helper. He is your shield. Trust in the Lord, the Enojos family. Trust in the Lord and the Lord Galvez family. Trust in the Lord. Uh, the Martinez, uh, in the name of Jesus, Martinez family, you have Robert Martinez, you have Yolanda Martinez, you have, <laughs> and then no affiliation, and then you have, uh, or not affiliation, but you have uh, John and Helen, that's what I meant by no, no affiliation. Let the Webb family know that, that they're, they're trusting in the Lord, amen. God is faithful, God is good. He is your helper, he is your shield. Trust in the Lord. All who fear the Lord, trust the Lord. He is your helper and your shield. It keeps on saying that. He is your helper. He is your shield. He is your helper. He is your shield. He is your helper and he is your shield. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. Amen. The dead cannot sing praises to the Lord, but they have gone into silence of the grave. But we can praise the Lord both now and forever. Praise the Lord. Why? Because let the redeem of the Lord say so. Let the ones who have experienced the power of the resurrection praise the Lord. Let those who are experienced a good shepherd praise the Lord. Let those who are getting into the word praise the Lord. Let those who are allowing the word to penetrate their heart praise the Lord. Let those who are experiencing the goodness and the faithfulness of God praise the Lord. We are praising the Lord both now and forever. Father, I thank you, Lord, for this time. I thank you, Lord, that yes, Lord, you are, you are, you are refreshing our souls. 
God, and that you are you are convicting our heart, God, because you have called us to be the watchman. If we're not warning people, now the blood is on our hands. But Lord, we warn, God, we share, we share the word, Father. We share the convicting word, we share the word that transforms us, word that changes us in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 27, fire tests the purity of silver and gold, but a person is tested by being praised or being flattered. You cannot separate fools from their foolishness, even though you grind them like grain with mortal and pistol. Amen. God is good. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name, may the Lord bless your body your labor, your emotions, spiritual and social. Thank you guys for tuning in. I pray that if you would like to come visit us here in the city of Southgate, Gateway Assembly, we're across the street from Southgate Park. And so come and join. Thank you guys for, thank you guys for tuning in. You know, blesses my heart that people are, are tuning in. People are, are faithful. Why? Because the word of God is being preached. The word of God is being shared, being taught, and get into the word. And don't just take my word for it, but take his word. Hide, hide his word. Hide his word in your heart. That's what I'm, that's all I'm doing. It's just, I'm just sharing the word that God is doing in me and, and speaking to me and just sharing it with others. That's all I'm doing. And that's all you could do too. Share the word that God is giving you. It's powerful. It's life-changing. It will transform your heart. And I pray that you will share this message. I pray that you'll be a blessing, that I will be a blessing to others in the name of Jesus. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a blessed day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll see what God shares with us tomorrow. This is powerful, guys. This is awesome, amazing. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a blessed day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have, we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys. Si Dios quiere. Bye. Bye.